In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, as we prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, we're sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faith with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Israel is a luxuriant vine whose fruit matches its growth. The more abundant his fruit, the more altars he built. The more productive his land, the more sacred pillars he set up. Their heart is false. Now they pay for their guilt. God shall break down their altars and destroy their sacred pillars. If they would say, we have no king, since they do not fear the Lord, what can the, Lord, what can the king do for them? The king of Samaria shall disappear like foam upon the waters. The high places of Avon shall be destroyed, the sin of Israel. Thorns and thistles shall overgrow their altars. Then they shall cry out to the mountains, cover us, and to the hills, fall upon us. Sow for yourselves justice, reap the fruit of piety, break up for yourselves a new field, for it is time to seek the Lord till he come and rain down justice upon you. The word of the Lord. The response is, seek always the face of the Lord. Seek always. Sing to him, sing his praise. Proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice. O oh, hearts that seek the Lord, seek. look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents and the judgments he has uttered. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia. 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 
The Lord be with you. And with reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you. Jesus summoned his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out, to cure every disease and every illness. The name of the twelve apostles are these. First, Simon, called Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector, James, the son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus, Simon, the Cananean, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed Jesus. Jesus sent out these twelve after instructing them thus, Do not go into pagan territory or enter a Samaritan town. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. The Gospel of the Lord. We need good fathers these days. Of course, the fathers of families, the patriarchs of families, good Christian men. In these times, we need them more than ever. And we also need priests, fathers, the fathers of the church. Going back all the way from St. Thomas Aquinas and St. Augustine up through St. Francis de Sales and Pope John Paul II, you could go on and on. Frank, St. St. Francis of Assisi, we need fathers in the church, especially in these days, in with society with, which all that is going through in these times of COVID, and especially as the world and our country is being assaulted by anarchists, demonic, demonic anarchists, and 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 these people who want to tear everything down. The statues, St. Junipero Serra out in, in California. You know, the very word patriotism comes from the Latin root word pater, which means father. We need priests more than ever. So the world will tell you we have to pull everything down, but we have to steer the, steer the course with strength, and most of all, the gifts of the Holy Spirit, courage, and all of the wonderful, wonderful virtues that the Church teaches us. We need fathers today. So at this Mass, we will pray for fathers everywhere, and especially for the priesthood, that it will remain strong. I watched a video on, on the YouTube today. It was Michael Voris. I don't know if you know him. He had this beautiful, um, it's not, not so beautiful because it speaks about all that's going on in our world. And Michael Voris points out in this Vortex video, he talks about hatred for country. Hatred for this wonderful country, the United States of America. We just finished celebrating the 4th of July so please, please, pray the rosary. Pray, pray, pray the rosary for the church, for priests, for fathers, and for our wonderful country, that it will pull out of this spiral into darkness, this spiral into what I call demonic anarchy. Now let us stand and pray together. We now bring our prayers for our church, for our world, for fathers everywhere, and for our country. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For the clergy, may they be guided by the Holy Spirit as they shepherd the people of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For government leaders throughout the world, may God grant them fortitude and patience in promoting and defending religious freedom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those suffering from the effects of natural disasters, may God bring them comfort and care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the lost sheep of our community, may the voice of the Good Shepherd help them to find their way back to the fold. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for all who have recently died in the light of Christ. May they be rewarded with the, eternal, the glory of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Carmel Sabert, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And in silence, our own personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Father God, we lift up these prayers and all the prayers that remain in our hearts. We ask that you answer them according to your divine will through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I the mistress, water and wine that come to the vineyard of Christ and humble self share in our humanity. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we have to offer you, fruit to the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we have to offer you. Fruit to the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord. Pray now, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our word and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of yours, Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer one another the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you Amen. take away the sins of the Lord. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who comes into the world to save us from our sins. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word of my soul shall be. Since we are unable to share in the physical reception of the Eucharist today, let us join in praying an act of spiritual communion together. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this time receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Come to me, all who labor and are burdened, and I will refresh you, says the Lord. Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So now proclaim the gospel of the Lord.